Thanks. Kyle, Good to see you, it's great to see you. Luke, it it great to see you. Yeah, not too bad. Um, when people think <laughs> about going live into Penny Hall Park, a five-star resort, yeah. is this, do you think, what they envisaged? Uh, well, yeah, I think we've been, uh, due to me and Luke being the front rowers of the squad, we've been demoted. We're actually in the Undercroft, guys. So this is the basement of uh, Penny Hill Park. This is the cryo chamber that gets to minus 200 degrees. So uh, we're, we're pretty cold um, and they didn't let us know. So me and Luke are in shorts and he's in uh, his Birkenstock. So brand new Birkies yeah, well, we've been oh, demoted. Well, we've been a bit of product placement as well. <laughs> we haven't even been going a minute. But there we go. <laughs> right, let's get back to the rugby. Um, let's talk Six Nations, shall we? It's fairly topical, I guess. Um, Luke, unbelievable result last weekend. I mean, when you talk about England rugby, only conceded three tries, scored 10, no points dropped. You must be pretty happy with the start you guys have made. Uh, yeah, definitely. I think, you know, compared to last year, I think this year we're a completely different bunch. Um, I think the way we are as a team, as, as you know, off the training field, I think we're a lot closer. Um, and I think you can see that on the pitch. Um, and like you said, yeah, last week, um, to, to play like we did and, and to get the victory like we did. You know, obviously the boys are happy, but now we're knuckling down for uh, next week. Absolutely. Looking ahead to next week. Um, Carl, you guys have been back in camp for the last couple of days or so. What's the focus been like? Um, yeah, no, I think the main thing is just focusing on ourselves. Um, I think if you focus too much on opposition, you get too bogged down. So obviously we have a, a general idea of what the opposition is going to do. But all in all, we just want to focus on ourselves. We've got our game plan and it's about implementing that. Absolutely. Guys, don't forget to please share this post right across Facebook and keep all your questions coming in. I'll get through as many as I can. I'm going to change gears slightly here. You know, we're fairly upbeat. This is social media after all. We'll give the people what they want. Luke, um, I mean, how old are you? 25. You're 25. Yeah. Um, should we just rewind the clock just a little bit? Just reflect on your younger days because we've had this wonderful picture come in of you and one of your teammates if we can have a look at it here oh. I mean oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever think I'd ever ask a front row player this question then shit oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. oh my words we have kids at home we will gloss over that but I apologise if anyone's offended by that sorry, but, sorry, sorry. but do you know what it's a natural reaction when you see a photo like that if we just get our picture up just one, just one more time please because um, oh, I've got a couple no, of questions first thing is what's your natural hair colour is that nosy that's, that's Jack no that's yeah nosy. unbelievable well, what's natural your natural hair colour well when I was younger it was blonde but obviously that was that was post un, that was an under 15 trip to Italy mate it was like a little tour so I thought I'd die there for boys did you just bang a bit of peroxide yeah that? mum did yeah mum did <laughs> Well, you've, one of the best girls. You've, uh, you've blossomed pretty well. And I mean, any thoughts on Jack? How, how do you reckon he's he's looking back then? Do you reckon he's got better of age, Kyle? Yeah, he's has definitely got he better definitely of age. Better yeah. Of age. Yeah, 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 he certainly has. It's like fun. a fine wine, man. It's like a fine <laughs> Just wine. like a fine wine. Absolutely fantastic. And um, back to the rugby. Sorry about it, Luke. Just right, bring that one on you. Um, let's talk about Mako. <laughs> he's still recovering. Um, Mako's unfortunately not with us, and I'm. He's, He's, he's alive, he's just not in the squad. <laughs> just, just, just to make that clear. Um, yeah, exactly, yeah, that was not an exclusive. That was not an exclusive. Um, he's unfortunately ruled out for the rest of Six Nation, but it offers wonderful opportunity to your teammate, Ben Moon, and obviously to, to Ellis Gett. Massive opportunity for those guys, right? Um, yeah, I think we're, we're blessed because we've got so much strength and depth in every position. Um, I'd be lying if I said, you know, Mako wasn't a big player for us. Yeah on the field and probably even more off it as a leader and leading by example um, in the way he plays and by the way he speaks and demands a lot of respect for what, he, what he's achieved. But, you know, I've only played with Mooney in the autumn and I can, you know, vouch for him and say he's a top bloke and he's, he's a top class player along with Genji, who I think most of us know, know of and know the potential he has. And, you know, that those two have got the the jersey and like as he said, Eddie says, you know, they will definitely get a good 80 minutes out of the two of them. Absolutely, I think we've seen that from England right throughout, you know, Mara was out, Courtney Law steps back in, the strength and depth which is England <coughs> squad are now generating is pretty exceptional, isn't it, Luke? Yeah, it's, it's decent, like you said, you know, we've had taken a couple of knocks, um, especially with Mara last week and Courtney stepped in and, and you know, obviously Mara's a big character in the squad, but you know, Courtney filled it it really well um and the performance filled in bastard didn't he yeah, yeah. oh my <laughs> word 
Good old shot. <laughs> to be fair, we actually spoke pre-game. He said he normally eyes up the smaller guys because he knows he's going to be fine. And then he just goes and smashes him. It's like, oh. He's folded me up a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, there's a reason why I don't play rugby anymore. One, because I'm rubbish. Two, because of people like him. Um, guys, as much as w- I'm sure these guys are enjoying are you enjoying this? Yeah, it's just a bit yeah, cold. Yeah, exactly. It's just a bit yeah. cold, but we'll warm you up. It's about you guys, the fans. And fortunately, we've had a couple of pre-recorded, or in fact, pre-recorded questions that have come in. We've got Jimmy from Yorkshire. He's got a question in for the lads, if we can hear from that right now. So I'm just wondering what it is that you're doing that's going to give you that sort of consistency and what can we expect when uh, we go to Cardiff. Uh, Really looking forward to it. Good luck and thanks very much. Lovely. Ends of a thank you very much. Um, Have you guys played at the Principality before? Um, Yeah, I I played, I think, only about 10 minutes and... The, the last game. What was that like? Played. Yeah, no, it was it was good. The atmosphere was was class. Um, the fans were very hostile, as you'd expect, but it's probably one of the best stadiums that I've played at, and it was a good experience. It was the one where Daly scored the try in the last one of the last minutes of the game. That was a good. Uh, it was good elephant win. ending. Yeah, it was elephant. elephant. Ending. I was doing cartwheel. Yeah. <laughs> it was absolutely fantastic. Look, have you played there? Oh no. You've no, not. No, no. Um, what are you expecting then? Because I'm sure we've had loads about uh, it. Yeah, like Carl said, just a hostile crowd, really. Um, you know, what Welsh fans are like is pretty similar to English. They're, yeah. You know, they're back their side 100%. So, you know, it's, it's going to be pretty good going in there. I'm going to, hopefully, if, if I play, I'm going to lap it up a little bit, um, take it all in, and then, yeah, you know, it's game time and switch that off, and I'm ready. Yeah. That's it. Get into it. Enjoy it. And we've got another question in from Alex. He's from Somerset. Hi, guys. Well done on the game against France. Also, what is the favourite game you've played in and why? Right, lovely what question. Favourite game oh, you've favorite. played oh, in uh, and uh, why? Uh, for me, it would have been the Prem Final when we won, mainly because um, you know the year before that, when uh, we got to the Prem Final, we, uh, obviously we lost the Saris, um and then the game we played against Wasps went to extra time and then we ended up winning. I think it was more the fact that we're all drained and we're all knackered after the game and to actually come through with a win. Um, you know, first title, title I've won, so yeah, it's class. Pretty decent for you, Kyle. Um, a few spring, lots of big matches, isn't it? A few spring to mind. Um, Whoops. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Where shall I start? There's been uh, loads of them. <laughs> no, obviously, when you make your debut um, at international level, that was a pretty, pretty big moment for me. South Africa at home um, two or three years ago. Um, yeah. Very convincing win. I only got six or f- five or six minutes, but you know, just to get out there with the lads was good. Um, most recently, the Ireland win a few weeks ago, that yeah. was pretty special. I think more because everyone wrote us off before Not we me. even. Yeah. Not me. Mate. Not me. <laughs> um, you know, 90% of the people wrote us off and, and, you know, didn't give us a chance. But as a squad, we believed in, in each other and we knew, you know, as long as we, we worked hard in the week and prepared well, that we had a fighting, sh- fighting chance. Um, Lions, second test. Um, to beat New Zealand in their own backyard was was a big one. Um, at club level, I'd say to lose away that game. Don't you remember? Brownie Brownie scored with Minty with a little offload, and he went in underneath the post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I hop, with you. yeah you hop, you did play hops with the, the flick, flick, at, flick the at the back. That was a good. That was a good win and probably an even better night that night. It was a good one. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was all right. That was all right. Um, um, yeah, so yeah, a few, yeah, that was a few games. Anyone that's read anything about you in the media over the last couple of years will know that you started out as a football player. Yeah. You once played for United. I didn't play for you. I, I, I bought the kit. I didn't <laughs> play for you. <laughs> 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 I'm not going to be one of those ones. But yeah, trials and uh, yeah, just did, got a bad injury. It just didn't work out. You always find those ones. Do you ones, support Man United? No, I used to. I used to support United. And then I had a realization. I was like, I'm a kid from South London. Why am I supporting United? And it was it was only because I went to watch the Wimbledon game where David Beckham scored from the halfway oh, yeah, line. So yeah, so um, that's when I initially started supporting United. But I just follow sport. Like you guys know me, I love my football, my cricket, Who's my your rugby. Team? Uh, I haven't got a team. Got NFL, a NBA. I, I was going to say it's it, not yeah. strange for. Uh, a southerner to be a Man United fan because that's yeah. where the majority of them actually come from. Yeah. So, there we go. Anyway, um, moving on now, I've insulted all our Man United uh, listeners. Sorry about that. Um, had loads of questions in. First one uh, from Kieran Blake Who has the best taste in music? Me. I would have no idea, mate. I don't even oh, listen yeah. to music. Yeah, Do you not? Yeah. What, are you nah, a podcaster? Really. No, nah, nah, I don't. I don't. Anything, really. Top of the Pops, mate. Top of the Pops? Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. He's still on Now music. 18. <laughs> 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 Back in the day. Um, Sync. 
You back yourself? No, um, it's different because obviously um, you you don't really hear the the playlist of the boys like David Silvestro. What, what would be on your playlist? Oh, uh, it would just be normally normal like probably R and B, hip hop, rap. UK grime, that, that sort of stuff, R&B kind of focused. Um, lost me, lost yeah, lost the, lost these country lads don't know about that sort of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a bit of Lou from yeah, 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 from Van yeah, yeah, Exactly, they, 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 they don't know about all that stuff, so I'm always, you know, Luke's in some of about 14, 15, and I'm still teaching him, I'm still teaching him, nurturing him, <laughs> getting there. Lovely stuff. Um, another question from Emily Wright, thank you so much for writing in. My son Jasper, age six, wants to play for England. What's your advice? I'm also wondering if Emily Rice actually Joe Marler, because he's got a son called Jasper, around about the same age. Oh. Could be, I don't know. If it's you, Emily, great. Joe, you're welcome back. <laughs> um, <laughs> mate, we'd love you here. We'd love you here. But um, any bits of advice for Jasper, age six, who wants to play for England? Um, I think the main thing is just to enjoy it. Um, the, 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 the most pleasing part about playing rugby at that age is just enjoying it, going out for your Sunday local club. Yeah. You know, having a laugh with your mates, chucking a ball around, and I, I would say probably don't limit yourself to playing one sport. I think play whatever it is that that, that you fancy. You know, I, I was at one point I was doing a bit of kickboxing, oh, really? tennis. Um, you're you're a king golfer, aren't you, Luke Dickey? Are you actually, um, you, you any yeah. good? Not really. I played, played a couple of years, thirteen. Yeah. 13? 13, yeah. yeah so. That's amazing. It was right. That's really good. Do you, do you play regularly now? Uh, oh, no, nah, to be fair, yeah, to be fair, I haven't played for a while. Yeah. Um, you know, I got quite addicted to it at one point, so I was out pretty much every day. <laughs> oh, um, so I thought I'd take a little back a step until summer. Oh, so fair, right. oh, yeah, just, just literally don't limit yourself. Obviously, that's your main goal. You want to play rugby for England, but you know, you can learn a lot of rugby skills by doing a lot of um, other different sports, and it just gives you that you know, mental break of just focusing on rugby, 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 just go out and enjoy it. That's it, don't limit yourself, because we could have had a midfield, Jesse Lingard, Marcus Rashford, and you at one point, <laughs> now look at you, now look Kids at you. 15 stone later. <laughs> <laughs> you'll play for England. Um, Julie Spencer, thank you once again. Um, who do you hate being tackled by? Um, Dickie? Uh, Pro probably Luke Cowan Dickie. The Luke those low, Dickie. low leg chops that you like doing. Every single yeah, time, yeah, 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 yeah. no arms. Like, every time, okay, fair enough. Um, um, go on. Yeah. You know, no, go on. No, I was going to say, oh, well, I haven't been. Who's yeah, like you see, Courtney Laws, cast. mate, no chance. Oh, yeah. flipping! Who's that guy? Yeah. The cast <laughs> guy, the eight. Yeah, took my chin right off. Got red carded. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah him. Yeah, never again. That was awesome. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah really awesome. Last question because we're going to go to a live call straight after this. It's from Callum Bell. Who would win in a hundred meter sprint between you two? Quite close. Guy's an explosive man, but I reckon after 50, he'll yeah, die down. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't I know. Right. Be, I think you're close. Right. Be close. <laughs> be close, man. Be very okay. close. That's a good shout. It's yeah, yeah. a very good shout. Yeah, Mate, we'll, good we'll see it. Um, we've got a live call. Absolutely thrilled to say we're joined by Mark from Portsmouth Rugby Club. Mark, how are you doing? Yeah, good. Thanks. You? Man, you have pulled over from the side of the road. You're not driving. You're using Bluetooth. <laughs> just to make sure. Okay, yeah. I'll know that. I'll know that. Good, man. You've got questions slash comments for the guys. Far away. Yeah, Luke, Carl. I'm speaking to you. You boys look like you enjoy your food. What's your favourite? <laughs> What's my favourite oh, one? My, my skinnies have been up recently because five guys yeah. moved into Exeter, so I'd say five Ooh. guys burger and chips. Yeah, Luke, Luke's Classic. got a bit of a body fat issue at the moment, so he's probably not allowed to. Uh... <laughs> hey, do me and you, mate. So. Um, so yeah, he might he might have to sit this question out, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> um, me, I'm like from a Caribbean brat. Um, background so probably more like Caribbean focused um, we have things like rice and peas fried chicken obviously you know I don't mind the, my fried chicken um, there's like a curry called um, curry goat which is it which is pretty nice um, stuff that are mainstream what do I like five guys it's pretty good um, tip mark Domino's chicken wings after a game, I can eat about 50 of them, no problem. They're the ones <laughs> with the garlic sauce, you just dip, dip it in that, unbelievable. Yeah, the Graham could do what he wants. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Mark, anything else you want to hear from the boys now you've covered off? Who's that in the back there? Oh, he's in my... There's one thought there. Hey, Emily. Did you just say a quick hello to the... Oh, it's your wife and your two kids in the back. Just a quick hello from Carl and Luke. Yeah. <laughs> Superb stuff. Marky, thank you so much for joining us. Cheers, good luck. I just called weekend. him Marky like we're mates. <laughs> yeah. He's Mark, he's Mark from Portsmouth. Uh, no, uh, thank you for getting in touch. Um, 
We've got some questions. Big week ahead. Yep. Well, every week in camp's a big week ahead. Um, Wells on Saturday. What's training like in the build up to it? Um, yeah, normally it's, it's pretty structured. We kind of know what Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday looks like. Wednesday's probably our hardest day, um, day and more team focused, okay. and Friday's more like a team run type of um, type of day. I think. You know, most of us in our career know what we need to do to get ourselves right for the weekend, whether that's, you know, uh, doing extra fitness or, you know, actually I feel pretty tired. I need to get an extra few hours of sleep or recover down at the spa. So I think it's quite individual um, in terms of how you want to get yourself right for the weekend. But Wednesday is normally our hardest day. And then around that, it's just more like team focus, getting yourself right, feeling sharp for, for Saturday. Um, Luke, something you touched on actually right at the start of Facebook Live was this sense of team unity. I'm sure it's always been there, but it feels a little bit more enhanced, the Six Nations. Is that a fair comment? And if so, <coughs> excuse me, what have you done to, to make the team feel as tight as what it currently um, is? Yeah, it definitely is for me personally. Obviously, I've, I'm in and out every now and again. Um, you know, I've been lucky enough now to play the first couple of games. And, you know, I think for this, the Six Nations, we met up on the Tuesday. Do you know what I mean? Add like a little little mini team social, which was quite good. Um, and I think just little things like that we, we're putting in. Um, I think all the boys now are spending a bit more time together. You know, you got lots of Johnny May and uh, Curry, absolute weirdos. But, <laughs> are they? But you know what I mean? But there are weirdos. There are. Weirdos. Yeah, there are weirdos. Different. You know I mean? yeah, different, different, very different. They're fitting the Chiefs. They're fitting yeah. the Chiefs, mate. Yeah. Would they? Yeah. yeah. I've heard the Chiefs, about yeah. the Chiefs, but I mean, we're talking from an oh. England perspective now. Perhaps, <laughs> yeah. perhaps we'll save this for off. <laughs> but anyway. no, yeah, I just, I just think, I just think that. I mean, everyone's on the same same level. Do you know what I mean? We, we all got on well. The, the, obviously, the leaders do their thing. There's there's no hierarchies or anything. I think it's all it's all pr pretty good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff, guys. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah, no, yeah it's been good it. fun. It's been freezing, but it's been actually good. Yeah, good. Well, you've been an absolute pleasure Cheers, to, to speak to you. Thank you for being so open, for so honest, and all of that, guys. I'm sure I'm not alone in wishing you all the very best of luck for training this week, and obviously the massive game that you've got at the weekend. Guys, thank you so much to everyone that got in touch for all your questions, for all your comments and for engaging. Don't forget, please keep sharing the post this week. Follow hashtag Wear the Rose. Any of your posts that you're putting up, pictures, videos, hashtag Wear the Rose. Follow O2 Sport right across all social media platforms as well as England Rugby and look out for all of our content. Have a great week. Take care. Good night. Yes. Woo! There it is.